Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nay Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel. And I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a quick unboxing from Union Gospel Press, because I literally just got my order in the mail. Um, so I paid for two items and got the other items for free, because I wanted to try them out. So I got it in this big old box. Here. So I'm going to pull everything out. It's like a box inside of a box, which I think that's crazy. But okay. So the first thing I got was the summer quarter um, Sunday school booklet because these are the books that we use at my church for Sunday school. So I got this. Um, it's for June, July, and August summer quarter. I did have the spring already, and we already started the one for June. So now I have mine, and um, there are three units. So I'm excited to have it but I also bought the large print edition the large print edition is large um, I think this is eight and a half by eleven paper um, it's pretty huge I uh, put this in comparison oh yeah I can see the comparison but um yeah so I got the large print just to see if I would want it and this is just way too large for me like I mean it's good for people who wear glasses but I like small things. I like small books. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give that one to my mom. Because we both need it anyway. And uh, I have this one. So, inside there was like my receipt and all that good stuff. So, we're going to put that to the side. Uh, then I put in order for their Gospel Herald as well as the um, sample kit they have. Is, is it a sample kit? Is it called a sample kit? I don't even know what this is called. Yes. Sunday school sample pack form. Okay, that's what it is. The sample pack. Um, but the first thing I got here is the Gospel Herald in the Sunday School Times, a challenge for the church. This is the summer quarter for 2019. And if I'm not mistaken, this was free. Um, I think this was free. <laughs> and it's pretty much like a little magazine. There's testimonies of faith in here, sermons, meditations, and psalms. Um, there, I guess, are inf there's information about different things. This one has Abraham's ancestral home, which is Haran. Um, so it just looks like something interesting, and I wanted to see what it was about because I know that they offer a lot more things outside of the Sunday school books. So I wanted to just try out some of their stuff. Um, and since this was free, I figured why not? It's pretty much uh, a non-denominational non Christian quarterly. Um, there are articles, there are words of life, testimonies of faith, and in different departments. Um, so, I'm excited to see what this is about. Check it out. And then I got the sample kit, which on the box it says free samples, and then it says Sunday school literature. Um, so this is basically a sample of their complete Sunday school selection that you can pick from. These are not going to be the current ones, so these are basically going to be the ones from the previous quarter, which was spring quarter, which is perfectly fine for me because I actually did enjoy the spring quarter um, quite a lot, and yeah, fucking. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to turn the camera around because I didn't like how it was when I started recording it sitting in the chair, and I really want to show you guys, like, in depth everything. But before I show you guys all of this stuff, um, I just want to show you guys the other two Bible study books that I have from them. Um, not Bible study, Sunday school books. So I did have the winter quarter, which was December 2018 to February 2019. And I don't think I actually did any, <laughs> like, writing in this. Um, because every time I get to church, it's always after the time or, like, they're at the end tail of Sunday school. I do have these books and I will be getting into them. I did, however, participate in two classes <laughs> with this one. So the first one um, is here. I didn't take any notes just because the notes section was, like, really small. But um, I did use a sticky note, and we went over this. Um, and then on the last Sunday in this booklet, um, I ended up getting the large print printout that my church gives out because I didn't have my booklet with me, and I took a little bit of notes here. Um, just some cross-references. I don't think I did anything else major here. No, so... Yeah, I do have them. I just, I've been reading them. I just haven't been like studying the way I want to in these Sunday school booklets. So I do plan to do that really soon and I will take you guys along with me. I'll probably do the one for the summer. Um, but again, 
here is the summer quarter so june to august 2019 this is for adults ages 26 and up which is cool um so again this is the regular size and then this is the uh, large print edition i do not like the large print edition it is massive i think that's great my church does hand out the printouts like they my church leaders buy this um the evangelists buy this and then what they do is make copies for people to have um so i think that's great if you're trying to make copies for people but me personally i just it's too big for me <laughs> um i don't know i prefer the i don't know i feel like this font for me is a lot more intimate and the paper color throws me off the paper in here is not white but um it's it's kind of like an off-white whereas this paper as you can tell is, is, is white with that you know that that black print it just really bothers my eyes which is strange because you know large print should be easy on the eyes but for me it's really bothering my eyes so i will be giving this one to my mother and then keeping this one for me i normally get her the um adult bible class teacher edition but i didn't order that one i made a mistake <laughs> when i made the order so i ended up with two of these so i will be giving her this one because we do have leaders that lead but um i do have this for the summer quarter which we are starting um i think uh yeah i missed out on the first week right yeah so i need to catch up um and then i probably will do this sunday well no i don't know but yeah <laughs> um again this is the gospel herald in the sunday school times um this is the summer quarter a challenge for the church fully including the disabled into the body of christ which i think is amazing that they have this um and it's literally what they call a non-denominational christian quarterly like i said this is number three volume 37 and um yeah it just looks like a fun little magazine little article type of it, it reminds me of scholastic honestly that's what it reminds me of um a little scholastic little notebooks not notebooks the little newsletters they used to send out back in the day but um yeah so we have that and i'll be reading through that then like i said this is the union gospel union gospel press sample kit it's the sunday school literature free sample pack um and what it is is they send you all the sample booklets like the booklets from the previous um quarter so because we are in summer a lot of this stuff is going to be spring and i do like i said already have the spring quarter which is fine but um I don't like this box because <laughs> normally you have the little hole at the top to open things but theirs is a little different okay so you just have some paperwork here which I'm not gonna even look at because I just make my orders online but you can do paper form orders but um so yeah inside the box like I said there's a bunch of <laughs> booklets as you guys can see large print as well as the regular size so starting with this this is christian life a broken heart by laura thomas um part eight this is from april like i said i think these are little short stories that go together um so yeah the stories that go together i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure of everything but that's what i'm seeing that looks cute i'll probably read that down the line um and then you have these little cards here which are the our bible picture talks um it's a set of 16 picture cards and these are to go with one of the classes which i'll show you guys in a second but um the sunday school superintendent spring quarter so i think what this is it it just has all of the lessons yeah in here for um adults on the left and children on the right for anybody looking to see it just in one big picture um because you do have individual booklets for every single age group this one is all of the booklets kind of in um one kind of way for you to see it so like if you're a pastor and you want to see make sure the lessons are aligned you can definitely look to see what the adults are going to be learning in sunday school and then what the children are going to be learning in sunday school so it just says sunday school superintendent the next is uh i guess i go here home study spring quarter um and this is just for if you want to do bible study on your own and it's pretty much set up to me in the same format as the sunday school lessons um where you have your scripture lesson text your notes box then your actual lesson exposition if i can flip the page you get practical points and then instead of questions they give you daily meditation um so different things you can read throughout that week so that's pretty cool so that's the home study 
Um, moving on, then you have the boys and girls. This is for ages 4 through 8. And this is what goes with the um, pictures, I think. Is this the one? Yes. So, if I'm not mistaken, these little cards, the Our Bible Picture Talks, go with this because this is like an album. So, again, this is for children 4 through 8. And um, they can obviously color this. You, you read that. But as you go along, um, it says... Lesson 1, March 3rd, 2019, God's Servant Moses. Um, it says, Pace in this place, the Bible picture lesson card. So you would open this up. I can get it open. <laughs> you would open it up. And um, this one here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It says, God's Servant Moses, the golden text. So you would take this card out and actually paste it there. Now, you don't have to do that. I think these cards would be great on their own just to give out to kids because also on the back for the one on Moses, it actually gives you like the scripture text here. Um, so I think that's pretty cool that they have this as an interactive way for children to do. So these go together. So that's for ages four through eight. It's the boys and girls album. Then you have the Me Too, which I believe there are three booklets for this. No, two. Um, so the Me Too is for children's ages four through five. So it's just Sunday school lessons for children's ages four through five. So you have songs, you have colorings, little poems, some short stories throughout things you can color in, which I think is fun. Color and learn. So you have that. Then you have the beginner Bible teacher, which is basically, this is a student edition, this is a teacher edition. And that's pretty much, I think, what's in here is they'll send, they'll send a student edition and a teacher edition for you to look at. So these two go hand in hand. This would be the teacher edition. So you get your teaching age, which is a plus, in case you're like a volunteer. Then you'll basically get the same thing. So let's just open this up to the children's. So you have the song Living for Jesus right here. Um, and then you, I guess this is a poem, I'm not sure, <laughs> but, um, you flip it over and it talks about God's servant and then it actually gives you the actual scripture text in the teacher booklet with, um, thoughts, how to tell the story, telling the lesson, you know, home, sorry, not homework, it's called handwork, um, action times, how to pray together. And then this would obviously be for the children to do. So these go hand in hand. Then you have the one for ages 6 through 8, and this one has three booklets, yes. So you have your primary Bible learner for children 6 through 8. So again, they're all going to start off with the same Moses being a servant lesson. So God servant Moses. Um, but then this one has something to do for the kids. So, you know, there's different games and stuff, word puzzles, number puzzles, and stuff like that in here, which I think is awesome. I know as a kid, I used to enjoy these. Um, then with that, this is called the handwork. Um, so I think this would be like something you send the kids home with to do on their own. I mean, handwork, homework, it's kind of like you yeah, pretty much. So that's that. So basically you would give the kids these two books and then this one would be for the teacher. Again, you get your lesson to the teacher, your back to the basics. Um, and then you go into your lesson plan, which would obviously be the same kind of God servant Moses, the scripture text, um, notes on the lesson, planning visual aids. It helps you basically formulate your lesson based off of what the children will be learning in their booklets, but it'd be more in depth in this one. Um, and then it tells you things on how they can live it out. Um, explaining what the golden text is because all of the lessons have a golden text even though there's like a large portion of scripture and then helping to remember so six through eight there are three booklets then you have the junior bible class and the bible teacher how's this one set up so this one is a little bit more fun it seems let me just go back to lesson one would make sense so for god's servant with them they actually get the actual lesson text written out which is great know your bible so it talks about the lesson text and then you have games and questions to answer which i think is fun and the teacher booklet for that one as well what's this intermediate bible class and i'm sorry i'm not even telling you guys age groups so um 
the primary, like I said, was for ages 6 through 8. The junior one is for ages 9 through 11. And then you have the intermediate, which is for ages 12 to 14. Um, the, the teacher's lesson plan, the students going back. Um, is this spring? This is definitely spring. But it is a different lesson, apparently. Yeah, this is a different lesson in the spring for the other the younger kids sorry the older kids um but yeah they get their scripture text the note section your actual lesson study daily bible readings that they can do throughout the week um once sunday school is over lesson hearts lesson tests which is great and that's pretty much how it is set up and the teacher booklet and all of them have maps at the back of them. I should have said that at the beginning, but they all have some type of map in the back, depending on what you're studying. So that's great. This one is set up, I guess, in the same idea. Yeah, pretty much. But then this gives you, like, lessons through the teacher, um, research and discussion lesson outline and all of that so again they help you to create your lesson plan for your students um then you have the senior high which is for ages 15 to 17 again this is the teacher this is the student and in the students so they basically the senior high is learning the same thing as the intermediate class is learning so again scripture the scripture text the note section your actual lesson where you're analyzing your daily Bible readings, applying the scripture, asking of the questions, and I think that's how they end it. Yes. And again, you do get a map on the last page. Same idea with the teacher. Young people's goes from ages 20, 18 to 25, sorry, um, which I thought was so funny that they had it like that. This one gives you some stuff to look on, and then scripture text. Um, your lesson exposition note section is with the scripture text and then after your exposition you get questions practical points golden text illuminated world missions and then you get your daily bible reading and that's all throughout and your map on the last page same idea with the teacher i'm not going to flip through that this one i own it already <laughs> i already have this like i said we did the spring quarter at my church so i'm not going to open this up but um yeah, I have both the teacher and the student. My mom has the teacher one. Um, this is their spring exposit expositor and illuminator. I'm not sure what this is, but I will be looking through it. I think the stuff that they offer and the lesson plans that they go through are amazing, honestly. Um, and like I said, I will be making videos incorporating these on the channel because I think they're really useful. Um, again, if you're interested, I will leave a link to the Amazon. You can purchase their uh, quarterlies on um, Kindle. And you can also purchase physical copies as well. I'll leave a link to their website down below. But um, I'm not sure exactly what this is. It's kind of like the same thing um, in a sense. At least that's what it looks like. But this one does like exposition verse by verse. So you have your scripture lesson section, notes section. Then it's broken down into introduction, lesson outline, your exposition. And it's verse by verse exposition as you can see. Then you have your questions preparing to teach the lesson practical points research and discussion illustrated high points and then the golden text illuminated so I, I i believe this would more so be for a teacher you have hearts of the lesson um world missions and i think oh here we go you got more of the jewish aspect the guiding guiding the superintendent and then you move on to the next lesson so i think this one is more so for a teacher or someone over like a church or something like that in the ministry who is really diving deep into the lesson plan i think this would go well with the actual superintendent um booklet still some more stuff in here again mind you this is a a free sample kit that you can actually order from the website it's free you don't have to pay anything i think just shipping i mean shipping is really really affordable <laughs> like i've never paid more than five dollars on shipping with them um well, it depends on how much you're putting into your order. But um, this is the Gospel Herald. So this is from the spring quarter. And again, they sent me the summer. If I can grab it. Sorry if you guys hear mowing. But um, this is the summer and this is the spring. So that's great that I have this one to look through. Um, it just says he is not 
here he is risen so that's great i'm actually going to read those soon then you have a large print of the bible expositor and illuminator what does it say on the back um it says looking for the most comprehensive approach to bible study for adults look no further this is a complete approach to bible study an in-depth verse by verse exposition of each week's scripture lesson text um, is complemented by a variety of other features providing a fully rounded and up close treatment of the bible lesson so basically i would say you could use this for personal bible study and again this is just large print so um i'm probably gonna give some of this stuff away because i don't really need it <laughs> like this i don't need a large print of it when i have a small print um so i may give this away and though it is for the spring i still think when we get these booklets from like Sunday school and Bible study and stuff like that, I feel like we can still go back no matter what and read them. That's what I do, especially like when you get your devotions from like Our Daily Bread and In Touch. I don't just read them in the month that they're given to me, especially if I haven't gotten a chance. Like I haven't been reading any of my Our Daily Bread or In Touch ministry devotionals in over three months, you guys. And I have a stack of them that I need to catch up on. I still read them. I still go back to them no matter how many months has been even i have ones from last year that i need to actually catch up on and read and i still read through them so i think stuff like this even though it says spring quarterly it's it's good if you're doing it in a group setting but if you're doing it personally even if it says spring or winter of 2018 or spring 2018 you can still go back and study it yourself so i think this is great um to have so i'm probably going to give this one away because i don't need it then they have little booklets in here for children um, so you have the Little Builders Volume 2, number 2 for children's 4 through 5. These are only $2 as well, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, and I think these are just like fun little things your children can do. Yeah, my son would love these. Little short stories, little poems, little puzzles, um, colorings and stuff like that. Like, I really like this one, using your numbers to color code. You guys can see look, like the number 1 is blue, so you would color in the number 1 with blue. I think that's so cool. My son would love this color time i think these are so cute my son is gonna enjoy this so it's called little builders um for children's four through five then they have one for children's six through eight and it's called forming foundations which my son is not six yet he's five so again he could still enjoy this as well and it's pretty much kind of like um oh my god what are those little booklets actually let me go grab one okay so these remind me of i don't know if you guys have ever use the highlights little booklet magazines i used to get these when i was a kid and i did get some for my son a while ago um but the like the let's play and stuff where you get like little puzzles and little readings and stuff inside that's what um they remind me of my son enjoys these so to have a christian based kind of um scholastic style I don't even know what to call this magazine, I guess, for my son would be awesome, especially because my son, he loves the word of God. You, you, you have your color corner again. You have little things you can read and study. And I just, I love these. They're really amazing. Here's one here. Connect the dots and then color the picture. You're even learning about earth, like insects and um, plants and things like that. So I think that's awesome. So again, this is for children 6 to 8. And then this one here is for children 9 to 11, which I wish I had this growing up. <laughs> but like, look at this. This is so awesome. And I don't care what any... Oh, see, the only thing is these are not stapled. So the ones for the children's 9 to 11 are not stapled, like at all. <laughs> you literally can like take it apart. But then again, I think that's awesome that you can do that. But, uh, yeah, I would prefer it to be stapled. But, yeah, you do get a lot in this little box. Um, I'm going to put the box on the floor real quick and show you guys everything together. So you get the large print expositor with the regular size. You get the home study sample, um, the Sunday school superintendent. You get the three little magazines for children, which is awesome. You get the Christian Life Part 8, your Gospel Herald, and then all these booklets that come with the teacher-student duo, which is awesome. Um, again, this is just a sample kit. Now, if you do just want to purchase the, uh, if I can find them, <laughs> the actual Sunday School booklets on their own, you can. Like I said, this is the large print for the summer quarter, which for me, I just, I can't. It's too big for my eyesight. Um, I probably should use it for my eyes because I do wear glasses. But 
I just no, not for me. I prefer the little cute small ones. And because I can actually stick them inside of my um, Bible bag. And because, I don't know, it just feels more intimate, more personal. And it gives me space as well. Because I like to have Bibles and journals out and stuff when I'm studying. So I can't wait to dive into this. I'm probably going to read through the one for tomorrow. Um, it is June 8th as I'm recording this video. I recorded the intro days ago so yeah i apologize but i am going to do june 9th um dwelling in canaan which is for tomorrow which is going to be on genesis 13 10 through 18 so i'm probably going to read through some of these tonight 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 i'm going to save the notes section for church i'll probably do my own personal notes like on sticky notes um but yeah i'm excited to have these to try out i will be incorporating these on my channel because I think they're fun and I'm so blessed to have a son and siblings that I can use these with. Um, even though they're from the spring quarter, I still think, like I said, you can utilize these now. So, um, yeah, I definitely would recommend you guys to check out Union Gospel Press if you do not. Um, if your church doesn't use any type of Sunday school booklet, I would definitely tell you to just bring to your church's attention Union Gospel Press. They have amazing Sunday school booklets, Sunday school material for all age groups I mean from ages four up to you know the elderly there's so many different resources and they're affordable they're not expensive at all um, these booklets here are three dollars if I'm not mistaken they're only yeah they're three dollars let me get this to focus three dollars for the regular size of the um, Sunday school booklets I think that's across the board um, no the children's ones are two dollars Two twenty-five for adult. Like the adult ones, they add like fifty cents or a quarter on top of. Um, the large print here is three seventy-five, and I think the teacher edition, if I'm not mistaken, for the adults. Let me show you. Um, yeah, three twenty-five. So they only are adding like a quarter to fifty cents on top of the different sizes. They're really inexpensive. You're paying less than like four or five dollars for a booklet. Um, when I purchased two of these. My shipping is only nine dollars, so it my order either comes out to six dollars or six twenty five depending if I'm buying two copies for the Bible class or if I'm buying a Bible class and a Bible teacher for my mother um and then with shipping shipping is like two and some change three dollars and some change, so it always comes out to nine dollars for me um this go around, I think I paid a little bit more um but yeah, the gospel herald is free from what I understand. Those are free. Um, these little magazines here for your children, they're $2. They say $2. So, I mean, they're not expensive at all. And they're highly, highly useful to your spiritual growth, spiritual formation. Um, so, I definitely would recommend it. I am not on here just to, like, sell this to you. I actually use them in my church, and I've actually been enjoying them. I haven't been able to really get in depth with them as I want to. You guys know my schedule is all over the place trying to catch up with work <laughs> for the minister's classes and whatnot. But prayerfully, um, this month, I can really start diving in and probably doing some videos with you guys, showing you guys how I do my Sunday school um, lessons because I really want to get back into doing them. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. I highly suggest you guys check them out. Again, their website will be linked down below as well as a link to their Amazon. If you guys are interested in the current quarter, I will leave links to the adult Bible class book down below. Both large print and the regular size. Sorry, no. I don't think they have large print for Kindle. Duh. But I will leave the Kindle link down below for the summer quarter. And um, I will also leave it down for the spring quarter. If you order through their website, you can order the quarters ahead of time. So I think currently they do have the fall quarter up. And I think you can probably even order the winter quarter. Um, you can still back order and order spring. I'm not sure if you can order the winter from last year. I'm not sure yet. But um I'll leave all links down below. It's really simple process to order from them, and um, they ship pretty quickly. But I'm glad I did get the sample box. I think it's awesome to have the sample box. I may even get the sample box come next quarter because I would love to have, like, the summer quarter sample box. That's a little excessive, I know. But, yeah. But that's it for this video. Um, if you guys did hear any beeping throughout the video, that is because the front of the living room, like I said, the front of my house with the living room is the only smoke detector that actually continuously beeps is the front of the house. Um, I did reset mine before I made this video, so yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> other than that i'll see you guys in the next video bye